Donna, I'm back again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're someone who's been here before and come back, welcome to you and thank you for coming back. Today it's um charity shop haul and try on. <laughs> and I know some of you are probably thinking, like, you know, you've got loads of clothes, why do you need to buy more? I'm like, well, I don't know. I haven't got an answer for that. Um yeah. I just buy way too many clothes <laughs> and I'm going to show you some today and try them on because I haven't tried them on yet and I've still got a load more to uh, in the bag there and every week I'll have a load more because I just can't stop buying stuff so uh, yeah talking of buying stuff my recent purchases online have been this from eBay for my eyebrows <laughs> can you see it it's supposed to be like um, a microblading type per pen, which I've used. So don't please don't sue me. But <laughs> I've used it on this bit of my eyebrows, which has got a chunk missing from when I had it microbladed. That bit has actually turned out all right, this side. But that side <laughs> has got a chunk missing there, which, in fairness to the woman, if I had gone back and give her a chance to fix it, it probably would have been okay, but I didn't want to go back. I didn't want her and her bloody blade next to my face again. <laughs> you know, one of them once bitten, twice shy. But Facebook, you know how Facebook spies on you? They say that they don't, but they do, <laughs> like, you know. Uh, every every time I go on Facebook now, it keeps showing me um, people who do microblading, and people um, who train you to do microblading, so I'm like, yeah, cheers, Facebook. Can you just piss off? <laughs> you know, I don't want to know anymore. Me, me, well, saying that, my sister has spotted somebody on Facebook who does microblading who looks really, really good. <laughs> and I'm thinking about um, Cena to get this bit finished, but I'm a little bit nervous about that. And what else? There's something else about, yeah, fa oh, yeah. What it keeps showing me is, you know, when uh, the women have got like these um body fitting dresses on, and obviously all the bumps and lumps are showing. It keeps showing these like um basically big knickers that they're putting on, and they go from all lumpy and bumpy like normal women to a super slim. So that's constantly advertising. It's like I'm saying, stop spying on me Facebook, <laughs> like, you know. That constantly keeps advertising to me. So of course I would go and buy some because it's there, and they were like fifteen pounds. And I'll show you. <laughs> I waited over a week. I didn't realise they were coming from China. I should have known, really. Um, yeah. So these are what they look like. Flesh colour. <laughs> really attractive. So I tried them on over my pants. I mean, and uh, yeah, they don't work. <laughs> All the lumps and bumps are exactly the same as before, but only you've got these on top. So, thank you, Facebook. Um, as well, if you are one of my friends on Facebook, or you, you know, you like me, you just know some of people's profiles on Facebook. I'm having a Facebook break at the moment. But I just spat there, sorry about. <laughs> I'm having a Facebook break. I've um disabled. Is it disabled? deactivated my account just for a week or so because i've got a week off work and i want to uh, put some stuff on ebay i've got loads of jewelry including this necklace which i'm going to be selling but i thought i'll keep it for a bit so yeah i'm having a um social media break for a little while apart from youtube and instagram i just mean face yeah i just mean facebook and um yeah i bought if you watch my um poundland video then leggings that I bought I've got on and as you can see they're quite see-through so I'm definitely going to use them as um oh wait a minute as what am I trying to say as tights rather than leggings because yeah you can see your knickers and everything <laughs> so you definitely need something to cover your bum when you're out wearing these and what else yeah, this top, remember last week in my try-on haul, I tried this top on. And Liam insists that he didn't put it in the tumble dryer. He promised he didn't. Because now, look at the size of it. Hang on. It looks like it'll fit a, a nine-year-old. Let's get it the right way. <laughs> look how small it is. Oh, 
I got it about that. I think I was in two minds about it when I tried it on. And now I'm not going to be wearing it at all. So that's going to be going in the recycling bin. And thank you to everyone who complimented me on my hair on the uh, Poundland video. This is what I use. I used last time. And this is what I tried to use today. <laughs> it's just done its own thing. And obviously with my fringe, I ain't bothered with that. So if you see little bits where they're straight, just pretend you didn't see them. It's like one of them, and it's okay, you know, when you pretend you haven't seen stuff. So, I had a friend a while ago who was into nail varnish stuff, doing all posh nails and that. And she was doing my nails, and then she was showing me on her phone um, all the times she'd done her own nails and pretty patterns and that. And then she's uh, you know, when people are swiping the phone, and then there's a couple of pictures of her. <laughs> a baby pictures like you, you know one of them where you are. did I just see that and she just carried on swiping like nothing could happen so anyway yeah so if you see any straight bits in my hair just pretend you didn't see them so I'm going to get the clothes together <laughs> this is supposed to be a charity try on haul so I'll be back and I've waffled on for about six minutes so I'm just going to sort them and I'll be back in a set and try and uh, straighten my hair down hang on Clark's boots. They're not black. I still can't find any black boots at the moment that um, are in my size. I see loads of black boots, but never in my size. These are actually a size 7 from a size 6, but I'm not. I can wear thick socks. The Clark's, Clark's, I need to clean. Um, they were a fiver, see? They were from St. Mary's in Bartley Green. They were proper up, but were these the ones that were really high? Yeah, they put them right on the top shelf, so I had to I think I had to get um another pair of shoes to try and like whack them down to get them down. Yeah, and I'm proper chuffed with them. I think hopefully they will be all right with these leggings. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll have a look in a minute because they're quite wide as well. Wide fit for my uh, chunky calves. So we'll try I, I have tried these on already, they do fit, but I'll show you now. You can see the boots. <laughs> can you see them? I might have to move you back a bit. Anyway, these are the boots. They're all right, are they? I think you can't see them, can you? Hang on, let me move you down a little bit. One sec. Let's see if you can see them there. Oh, still can't. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. And again, you should be able to see them now. Yeah, you can see them now, can't you? I think they're all right. So, uh, let me zoom in those off a little bit. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I mean, these are those um, me pound and leggings, which as you can see are proper, uh, they are super thin. But I don't think I'd mind wearing these out with this top because like, they cover your bum and the boots are quite chunky. So, on display, really, they're only that much. Yeah, proper chuff that says I want some black ones. <laughs> when I find some black ones, I'll be even happier. Okay, Laura Ashley denim well, it's denim like skirt that was three ninety nine. I think that's I'm sure this was a Salvation Army shop in uh, Hal's Owen. It's got flowers on. <laughs> it's very girly, I know, but that's that. I'm trying to change the way I dress. I'm trying to like not wear jeans all the time so hopefully th this will fit and will look okay I don't know what I'm going to wear it with but it's going to be boots I think it's definitely going to be boots it's not that is it thick no it's not that thick but it's got lining look so we'll try that on <laughs> and see what like I say see I'm going to try it on with my leggings you know I'll keep these leggings on I think and the boots and then eventually when I find some black boots, they might look better with black boots, but we'll have a look. I've got the Laura Ashley skirt on. And I think when you spend that long in jeans, you just, when you try something else on, you don't know what to pair it with. So I've got a blouse on and I've tucked it in. So I'll show you, see what you think. I don't know. Is this what you're supposed to wear? With these sorts of skirts, or are you supposed to wear? I don't know, like a black. No, it is a bloody blazer. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to wear it with. 
I mean, I tucked it in because I thought it looked a bit neater than when it was out. Because obviously it's a bit see-through this blouse, so I thought maybe. And this skirt is quite generous. Look, actually, obviously quite generous with a, a bit like Marks, is it there? When they say 14, they actually mean a size 14. But uh, yeah, I like the skirt. I'm not sure what I'd wear on my legs. I would wear boots. I think it's going to be boots again, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll say boots. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to cut, uh, make sure you don't see anything there. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this skirt. What would you wear it with? Because I'm wearing it with this blouse, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to wear it with a blouse. Maybe a plain t shirt. I don't know what to wear on my legs either because I can't wear shoes. You know, when you see women with like high heels, and I'm like, I, I don't know how they do it. I'm an ankle boots person. I love my ankle boots, even in the summer. <laughs> you know, when people are wearing flip flops, not me, no. I'm still in my ankle boots because I don't know how they wear them and it doesn't hurt the feet. So yeah, you can let us know what I'm supposed to wear with this skirt, because I quite like it. It's really comfortable. But yeah, let me know. <laughs> sure what colour these are but the trousers what colour are they i have no idea oh, does that say grey i cannot see the writing but the marks and spencers indica indigo and they were is it three pounds three pounds again i think these were from rubri the headwine rubri but again i think i need to wear them with boots because they're quite skinny look but they're really, really soft. They're like a mauvey colour grey. Mauve. Mauve's a colour, isn't it? Mauve's like purpley. Anyway, I like them because they're like really soft. And hopefully they'll fit. We'll see. Got the, um, the grey brown one. I call the trousers on. And I thought I would try it with a, like um, this pearly neck type top, which is also, um, you've probably seen in my whole videos, because... I thought it kind of looked like it needed to be with a polar neck. <laughs> Tell me what you think. I just thought it like, I mean, I've still got to get the label off. I think that looks okay. With boots as well. Yeah, I, I think the, the legs are too um, thin to wear with my ankle boots. So, hang on, let me get the boots and let's see what they look like. The boots on, hang on a sec. I wonder if they'll go over. We'll see. Well, it's a bit of a squeeze, but they're going on. Hang on, next one. Hang on. Wow, it's a bit tight. I think this leg's uh, a bit chunkier than the other leg. Oh, can you see? Can I go back? I don't know if you can. Oh, I think that looks all right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not, yeah, now I'm looking at the top now, I think maybe not, but when I'm out, nobody sees your tops today, hang on, it's all the hair out, when you're out and about, they only see your legs, don't they, because you have your coat, and now I've got that, uh, blue coat, I think it'll look alright with the blue coat on, or one of my other coats, which I say looks exactly the same, just in front corners, <laughs> and brand new, with tags look um creamy colour denim skirt and that was i think i got this from ruby down the road uh primrose four pounds that's from tu and originally it's 18 pounds and you get free bell look at that <laughs> so we'll try that on pencil skirt is it pencil skirt or did i say pencil skirt yeah, I know I because <laughs> it says pencil skirt there, so we'll try that on. It looks a bit see through though, doesn't it? it? Looks quite thin. But like I say, with leggings or thick tights, it should be okay. We'll try it on. I've got the cream skirt on. Um, It's proper snug. I'll show you it anyway. <laughs> it is really snug. I mean, I've got my socks on, so because I didn't know where. I did, yeah. Did I shine my legs? Oh, yes, I did. Um, 
yeah it's the most unflattering skirt ever look it proper shows you uh, your belly <laughs> nobody wants to see that unless you you're gonna wear a top over it there to there is okay but round the um round the belly area is um it's horrible it's, it's it's way too snug i don't know whether that's just the way these pencil skirts are designed or whether it's just my belly I don't know. but um i don't know if i'll be wearing it the next item i actually got from a uh, hogs lane car boot northfield on is it saturday saturday i went with my son if there's any resellers watching this um I, we met uh, the brum reseller as soon as we got there we seen him straight away and i said to something <laughs> so we're on youtube to have a look see if it was him and it was him and he said hello and he said really nice so hi to you um yeah i hope you got some way well, you did get some bargains didn't you because i watched your video um yeah but I, I was just going for the nose really and i was basically looking at some coats and i nearly picked up a coat that i'd already got according to my son because he says haven't you already got that coat and i'm like might have <laughs> but i seen this coat right it was five pounds i didn't bother trying to knock them down because i thought it was worth a fiver it's lovely I, I think it's lovely i tried it on it's tu 14 and i have got several coats exactly the same as this but in different colors and i just really liked it so yeah so this was a fiver so i'll show you this on what i tend to do with coats if they say dry clean only I just put them in the washing machine as like a hand wash, just give them a rinse. Because to be honest, everything she had on the stall anyway looked immaculate. And all the clothes, she had like a row of coats, they looked nearly all new. But I know everything just looked spotless and that, but obviously I will wash it anyway. So I'll show you. I like it, it's really nice. At the moment, my coat is my favourite buy. It was the most expensive for me five pound but i really really like it i'll show you it's just the right length i think it's got one of the rather than having buttons it's got a big zip which i can't do up hang on get up hang on it's got a big zip and pockets and i think it's a really nice length and i think i'm getting into leggings because i think it looks all right with these Perkins, it was originally 40, then it went down to 17, and then we went down to whatever that squiggle is. And I got it from the pound shop in Hal Zoe for a pound. It's a dress, so if you can see, it's quite a long dress. So I just thought for a pound, it's worth a go, isn't it? It's, it's quite a smart looking dress. I think you might need to wear a, a top underneath, it's got no sleeves, but. I just thought, and it's got a belt look, the belt's still there, yeah, try it on, hopefully it'll fit, I just thought it was really nice, just looked quite smart, so <laughs> whether it looks smart on me, we do <laughs> oh, hang on, oh, nearly ripped it there, hang on, so we'll try this on and have a look, I've got me one pound blue dress on, um, I, I, like, like I say, I think it's because I'm not used to dresses, I'm not sure, if I like it or not, but it costs a bloody pound <laughs> and it's brand new. And I've got it on with some suede boots because although I have got lots of pair of shoes from the charity shops, I know I probably won't wear these this dress if I do wear this dress with shoes because they hurt. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I've just been in my son's bedroom, which is over there, to have a look in the full length mirror. And yeah, Sully, if you're watching this, that bag of Skittles <laughs> that you left on your desk were very nice. So I will replace them, don't worry. Anyway, let me know what you feel. I've had to move you back a bit further so you're in the bathroom again because you won't be able to see the length. So hang on, let me try and get up. If you're clicking, it's me knees. So this is a dress. And <laughs> it's got pockets in. So I've got my slide boots on. I don't think I showed you in the last um, video. I think I had some creamy colour ones, but not these. These are my suede ones, which are the most comfortable boots in the world. Obviously, chat down to the charity shop or eBay, but I'm in for a bloody quid. 
I don't, it makes my arms look a bit chunky, so obviously I'll wear it with my coat. I'll try it with my coat. Hang on. Coat's over here. Oh, let's try on the uh, See what it looks like with a coat? No. Have a look. That looks okay. More pockets. I think that looks alright. I don't look so chunky now, I don't think. I'll try to look at them. <laughs> I'm trying to see what I can see. Without my glasses, to be fair, not enough. Not enough. <laughs> not, not in focus is what I'm trying to say. I think, I mean, for bloody hell, for a quid, you, you just, I mean, like I say, them skittles probably cost more than a quid. And they didn't last five minutes just to know. Brilliant. I was like, if I do wear this out, on its own without the coat, I think I'd have to wear a little cardigan or uh, some self tanning stuff. Because as you can see, super. Anyone could recommend any. Um, I don't use self tanning stuff at all. I, I just never have. But if anyone could recommend any good ones that don't make me look orange, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, thanks. Hang on. Hang on. So that was my haul. I am again proper chuff with the stuff that I got apart from the cream skirt. My hair looks like I've been uh, dragged through a hedge backwards, but never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah. Cream skirt. The blue dress. I, I had a quick look back on that video and I think I need to wear some um, black tights underneath because it's a bit leggy. And it only got, it's only got, I'll show you, two clips holding it together. <laughs> which is a bit dodgy but bloody quid oh you know you it, it's just madness and it's some of the things that people give away it's like if you've never been in a charity shop before you don't know what you're missing you're missing some proper good bargains you just gotta have a good mooch like say the pound shopping house though and you do really have to have a good mooch because some of it to be honest is tat but then you find something like the blue dress in there so yeah, <laughs> so thank you all for watching. I said you had to um, I had to film it in my landing again because when it's long stuff, as you know, this bedroom is like I can actually reach the wardrobe there, so you wouldn't have been able to see anything. So that's why I've done it in the hallway. So it's a little bit echoey. So thank you all for watching. I think I've just said that. <laughs> um, this is Friday. I like I said, I've got the week off which I'm going to be busy doing eBay and sorting this wardrobe out and I may do a couple of videos if I can think of a subject to talk about. If you can think of a subject for me to talk about, then let, let us know. But yeah, <laughs> so there'll probably be another video in the week. So if you want to watch that, that'd be brilliant. So I'm still on Instagram, but I'm not putting a lot on there at the moment because like I said, I'm not on Facebook at the moment and that's where I get all my memes from. <laughs> so I'll pinch them off Facebook and put them on Instagram. So I don't know what I'll be putting on there, but if you want to uh, follow me, that'd be great. Take care, everyone. Have a good weekend. If you're getting bargains, get some good bargains. Okay, bye.